Good morning guys. Today we're working on 2008 Toyota Corolla. The vehicle, the customer complained. Checking the light on, engine taking, a lot of power. So let's check to see. Confirm the customer complaint. First thing, key on. Look at the check engine light appear right there. That means we will able to see. Okay, start the engine. As you can see, the engine running right now. The check engine light uh, came on. So anyway, I feel the engine safe now. But in the video, hard for you guys to see. Uh, okay, anyway, off and key back on. Let me read the code, see what going on. Okay, guys, I have the scan tool turn on here. Let uh, go ahead. I don't need to uh, scan all the module. Just uh, uh, engine control module and see what we have here. And for uh, quick access, if I I run for I run for all, uh, all module reading, it will take some time. Okay. In the case we deal with the check engine light and the engine um, check. Okay. Okay, guys, we have right here 302 cylinder number two mid fire current history panning all the same and another one is 2238 oxygen sensor pumping current circuit low for AF fuel sensor, bank 1, sensor 1 no bank 2 on the 4 cylinder ok let me go back here what I would like to do first thing look at you guys keep in mind that cylinder number 2 uh, misfire misfire ok ok thank you for thanks for Toyota they have the, the misfire cow here Let's go ahead and to see how, yeah, somehow we have sent the seat right there. Okay, let me start the engine and see how it comes. Okay, okay, is it running right now? As you can see, exactly what the computer set to call cylinder number two seems to be counting con continuous counting like this. That's in the case of that mid fire. Okay, what I would like to do lead uh, the pay on like that and then turn off the engine. Get the key out. Okay, put over there. Go under the hose and then we will do some basic test over there and see what's going on. Okay guys, here under the hood on the engine, as you can see, front of the engine here and counting up cylinder number one, number two, the computer set for this cylinder mid-fire, number two, and right here you see three and four, again, one, two, three, four. First thing, I just mark on the coil, number two, like that, okay, and then I will swap the coil to another cylinder whatever I want and the spot plug to another cylinder whatever I want and keep in mind that where the spot plug move to like for example the spot plug move to number one if later number one may fire that means we have the dead spot plug and Num the coil number two move to number three if later number three mid fire that mid fire that means we have the back coil okay guys just a few minutes i already moved the coil from number two to number one and the spot plus from number one move to number three so now we check the data again if the number one mid fire, the mid fire follow to uh, follow the coil to number one, 
that means we have a bad coil. If the midfires move to number three, that means we have the bad spark plug. Inside the car, the scan tool is still on there and start the engine again. Okay, as you can see, right now the mid fire move follow the coil to number one right now. So, go ahead and uh, with my scan tool on hand and check again. You can see. need a new ignition coil and uh, all that to make sure back in the car and then do some tests to make sure just need only the coil okay let me wrap the engine okay let me go back here see engine RPM uh, yeah, engine speed, yeah. As you can see in the video, the engine RPM right now is cold. Uh, around 1000 RPM. Let me wrap the engine. Okay. No any other cylinder count in mid-fire when we... Engine RPM run about... 2500 no any other mid fire okay let me brace and put in gear yeah let me put it back here okay the certain D right now as you can see I will break with my lab first and uh, right now okay guys after some more tech right here to check make sure how the spot blood condition and I don't see any mid fire on another cylinder as I mean that mean this vehicle needs it only the ignition coil okay okay that's it guys quick tech quick video uh, but anyway if you have uh, your own vehicle or you have the, the scan tool that able to read the mid-fire data and then go ahead and do like basic tech like this and you find out right away better than you take the coil up and you made the spark from there it will be uh, hard for you guys and uh, Follow the video and do some simple tech like this and you have the answer right away. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.